name is Olivier Notz. I am responsible for the Interrap Academy. Today we will explain you how to install a pneumatic actuator on a butterfly valve. In this case, we have an actuator with a star connection and with a bigger square than the valve shaft. For this, you will need a square reduction. Please make sure that the square reduction is at least as deep as the square inside of the actuator. Otherwise, we have a gap and this is, uh, can be a problem. As you see now, the disc of the valve is in a slightly open position. This is how the valve was installed in the pipe. To ensure that we do not deform the liner during the time the valve is not in use. So now I need to adjust the position of the actuator to the valve. I just turn it slightly and you see now the open position indicator shows this direction. Now the actuator is parallel to the pipe. By the way, this is the standard position we install the actuator. If you would need to have the actuator parallel to the valve body, you need to inform us already at the quotation phase or when you place the order. Otherwise, we will always supply the actuator parallel to the pipe. The actuator is now on the valve. I start using the screws. By the way, the information on what screws to use or the screw hole you find on the data sheet of the EA Motion that you can download from our website. I tighten now the screws crosswise. Okay. The actuator is now installed on the valve, but somehow you need to operate it. For this, we need air supply. We have already made two different videos. These videos, you find them on the download of, on our website, interrupt.net videos, or you can check those on the YouTube channel of Interrupt Group. How to connect a pneumatic actuator with the air and how to reduce the air, the airflow to avoid that you have the slamming, slamming effect. And as well, there is another video to show how to adjust external stroke limit screws if they are necessary or to adjust the standard stroke, stroke limit screws. Furthermore, on this video, you see as well how to adjust the airflow, how to avoid that the valve opens and closes too fast. This is all mentioned in this video. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope this video was helpful.